excited to be here. You know, full life for life. I thank God I'm a partaker of this convention this year. I've been in full life from the beginning. I don't want to, if I start counting my testimony, it will be too much. In here in full life, I came. I didn't have a car, I own a car here. Wow. I came, I was a tenant. I'm living in my house right now. <laughs> to the glory of God, I got a house in Abuja. To the glory of God, the fullness of God is all over me. <laughs> my daughter is in the university. She just got admission. Mm. She's mm -hmm. writing it. I thank God for good life, for health, promotion, lifting. Yeah. Um, it's been such that you can't afford to miss for any th reason in the world because um, aside from having very exciting people coming, um, there's always uh, a different dimension of the grace of God being poured out, so you can't miss it. It's an annual event we look out for, you know, because uh, it's where we gather as people of God to, you know, I'd say get fresh anointing, you know, fresh unction, and it's usually always worth it, so I do my best to attend. And what are your expectations for this year's Gathering of Warriors? Well, my expectations for this year is that uh, I hope that I get closer to God. I'm close to God already, but I hope to get closer, you know, of course. And then I, I, I am also bringing supplications that I hope that, you know, I have needs and things I expect God to do for me. So hopefully before the end of the event, I'll, I'll get my, my answers. Amazing. We trust that God will answer all the supplications that you've brought. Experiences. Wow, too much, too much. There's no how you come for gathering warriors that you won't be blessed by mm. God. You will have testimonies, yeah. different testimonies. Okay. But the only thing is that some people feel when they have a testimony, it has to be something you were waiting, waiting for. Waiting for right? But you don't know that the one that God wants to bless you with. Mm -hmm. So God keeps on blessing us okay. in different ways. For every gathering, there's always a word for the season that anybody that bothers to step in will take away that will take them to the next season, to the place that God has prepared for them in that season. Um, well, um, that has always been great, always been very great. I mean, um, I'm in here for a um, new thing, you know, to get myself refreshed and um, go out there and um, take over the world. My expectation is that the more people are coming in to yeah. see the glory of God in this place and I'm telling them that as they are coming they should have faith because it's only by faith you can be able to achieve good things yes, from God exactly. without faith without your belief you cannot achieve it thank you thank you we'll be looking forward to your testimonies yes. on stage I've been in full life since I think it's about 13 years now or so my experience our experience because I'm standing here with my wife I've been very very impactful we have actually really benefited from the preaching of our spiritual father, the conduct and every aspect of uh, the spiritual work in full life. We are very, very delighted, very, very happy to be part of this move. How long have you been in full life? Well, I've been here for about seven years. And what has been your experience so far in full life, Christian Center? It's a story of divine transformation, 360 degree divine transformation. I can say the less, but I know that God has been extremely amazing. And the word, every word that has come out from this altar has been amazing. And there is a manifestation of each word that Papa has dropped. So I know that 22 years prophecy is going to make a lot of impact. And I have to commend the man of God, our Father, Reference and Sia, for stirring men into complete fullness. I mean complete fullness. I really celebrate this family and I love full life for life. I have, I have, I have a whole bundle of testimonies mm -hmm. worshipping with full life. It's been amazing and I really thank God that I'm part of this family. What has been your experience in full life? I've lost turn around in my life, spiritual life and everything. And what is your expectation for this year's gathering of warriors? Big, 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 big victory. And what is your expectation for this year's gathering of warriors convention? <laughs> like she said, I can't miss the word of God for this season, for me, for us, for us. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. 2022, I know it's going to be great. Amen. Going to be great. Amen. More of God's blessings, more of God's favor. God is going to bless us as we continue because it's one thing for you to believe in God and have faith in Him and he will do wondrous things for you. Our testimony is that uh, God has added another soul to our family. Oh, and um, our, our grandchildren are increasing. Praise God. 
by year by year. Yes. And um, our health is also improving. God has also uh, uh, actually sustained us, kept us in everything. Our business is moving. We have no regret being here in full life at all. Well, I have lots of expectations. Wow. Yes, but um, what I want God to do for me this year is um, I want more up upliftment in my life. You know, I want to experience God in a different dimension in this convention. I want to have God personally do something wonderful in my life, in my family, and also help me to be more beneficial to the kingdom advancement. What are your expectations for this year's gathering of warriors? I know it's going to be impactful and full of grace. Let's share one very exciting experience. What is always your best moment in Gathering of Warriors Convention? Is it the dance? Is it the praise? Is it the worship? Is it the word? Or is it the people? It's a blessing of God. Oh. It's a blessing of God. <laughs> yeah. All round blessing.